when a chemical equilibrium is disturbed in any way, the reaction will shift in the direction that minimizes that change. According to Le Chatelier's principle, there are three types of disturbances that can induce these reaction shifts. They are the addition or removal of reactants and products, the addition or removal of heat, and the alteration of pressure. To demonstrate, look at the popularly tested Haber process. If we add more nitrogen to the reaction environment, there is a stress on the system. There's a sudden abundance of nitrogen. To fight the change, the reaction proceeds forwards, thus reducing the amount of nitrogen and increasing the product. Suppose we instead removed hydrogen from the reaction environment. We would then see that the reverse reaction would kick into gear to try and replenish some of the lost hydrogen thereby minimizing the change. For Le Chatelier's principle, treat heat just like you would treat any of the other reaction species. Since heat is formed by the forward reaction, adding heat to the reaction environment will thrust the reaction in the reverse direction to try and counter the increased heat levels. Lastly, suppose we increased the pressure of the system by decreasing the container size. The left side of the reaction has four moles of gas, whereas the right side only has two. Under the increased pressure, the reaction will shift to the right, thereby lowering the number of moles and alleviating the overcrowding.